Just a quick warning, this is not best practice as Tiger Frog points out. Please follow what they say here in the comment. I'll have a guide posted in the description, but it should work to get you off the ground if you're not too worried about maybe blowing up a few NeoPixels. With that said, enjoy the video. Hi everyone, it's Caleb. My hands are extremely dirty because I've been laser cutting, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about the myth, the legend, the man himself, the STM32. It's been a while, old friend. I'm introducing this series called STM32 Bits, where I take just a little bit of time out of your day to show you a cool trick you can do. Now, you can see I have two screens pulled up right now. So first of all, we are going to go to File, Examples. And if you have it set up right, you should be able to see a bunch of libraries. Now, if you don't see this, go to my other video where I showed you how to do this. It's up in the corner right about there-ish, and you should be able to watch everything. Also, you can install the uh, USB bootloader for this, so you don't need a serial programmer. Enough shilling. Basically, what we are going to do today is just some NeoPixels. So we are going to go to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries. And we are going to look up, once it loads, WS2812B. If I can type. And we are going to get the Roger Clark based on the Adafruit NeoPixel library version. Once you have that, go to File, Examples, and go down to WS2812B, open up the test, and start hooking stuff up. So, first off, don't connect this yet. I grabbed the wrong thing. All right, so first of all, we are going to take ground and connect it to ground. We are going to take our data and connect it to A7. And we are going to take our voltage, 5 volts, and connect it to 5 volts here. And so once we have that, now we can connect this. We are going to go ahead and upload. And we might have to help it along here. Nope, it works. And look at that. Easy as pi, or SPI, I should say, because this is actually using the SPI bus to generate the timings required for working with NeoPixels. Now, this is only tested on the WS2812B strips, and I think the other ones have different timings and just might not work. So make sure if you're using this, you get the WS2812B version of NeoPixels and or LED strips. But hopefully that was interesting, and I will talk to you all later. Ignore this green pixel, by the way, because that just exists as a artifact from the SPI generation. If As long as you have this strip long enough, that disappears. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. 